Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be using while loops to get as many numbers entered by the user until they choose to stop and find the average. This video is an inspiration to a comment that I have gotten on the Java 6 uh, created in Apache NetBeans using the for loops to get multiple user input. The comment says, what if you uh, what if you wanted to let the user enter how many numbers they want and have like a input the user can enter to break? How would you find the average? So this I thought it was such a great comment and this video is is a response to that comment. So we're going to use the same video that we uh, same code that we've written in the previous video but make few changes. So some of the changes that we want to do is I'm going to cut it, um, cut that line and then put it here. And I'm also going to remove that comment because we will change the for loop to become a while loop. Uh, but more on this in a second. Let's just um, do one thing is ask the user to enter a number and we want, so this is going to be our stopping condition, enter, hit enter to stop uh, and close that bracket. And um, we, if we ask the user to enter a number, but then we want it, we want the user to be able to stop when they hit enter. We need to take the entry as a um, as a sorry as a string. I kind of lost what I wanted to say, and we want to store that in a, in a string input. So we call our new variable user entry, and um, let's um, actually give it an empty string initially, and then. Um, Put it into here user entry. Spelt it wrong. Okay. And uh, what we then need to do is, um, I'll, I'll just have a comment. I have a comment here that I'd like to add in here. So here we will get the number as a string initially, and then what we want to do is change our for loop into a while loop. So I've got another comment here. So with a for, uh, with a for loop, you know the stopping condition, which is if i is less than that counter. But with the while loop, what we're going to do is we want to step out of the while loop if that string is empty. But if the string is not empty, we will enter the while loop. So while um, so what we want to do is check if this is an empty string, and we could use the the is empty method, and then what this gives us is true or false depending on whether or not this is an empty string or not. So, but we want to actually get into the loop if that string is not empty. So we need to use that uh, exclamation mark to indicate that if this is false, we will get in. Okay, so if it's not empty, we are inside the loop. Okay, so then uh, what we want to do is uh, make few changes. Let me get a comment that I've prepared earlier, just to save you the hassle. We then pass the entered number into an integer. So that initially we have as a as a string. We don't know if the user is going to hit enter or not. But if the user hits enter, we step out of the while loop. And then, uh, but if but once we are in the while loop, it means that was a number. It's not an empty string. So um, what we do now is we want to store the value of number, um, the past value of this string into the variable number. And so to actually parse it, we need to use the wrapper class integer and use the parse int method. And there we go. Okay. So that's what we have. Then what we do is we will update the sum. So let's update sum. So this is our sum and it's been updated. Another important thing that we need to do is we need to actually update our counter. So we need to update the counter to keep track of how many numbers were entered so far. Otherwise, we won't be able to do our division over here, right? So to update our counter, we do counter plus plus. But notice how the compiler is complaining, saying that um, the, the variable counter has not been initialized. And what we're basically saying here is counters equal to counter 
plus one. So that value initially is is not there is not initialized. So we need to give it an initial value, and I'm going to give it a zero because we want to start from zero. Okay. Um, then lastly, what we do is now we enter. We ask the user to enter another number. This is really important because otherwise we will be in. We will if we don't update this entry or this variable which is our condition in the while loop then we will go into an infinite loop so we can just copy these two lines and then repeat them inside a while loop to get a new number okay so i guess this is it the average is then computed nothing else changes here it pretty much works the same as it used to be so let's give this a run and make sure it works as expected um, let's give some numbers and then now I'm going to hit enter and we got our average. Let's give more numbers this time. Two, three, four. Uh, so that's just been entered here. And five and six. Now I'm going to hit enter and our average is four. Then I'm going to do um, 10, 10, 10. You can put in as many numbers as you like. But I'm choosing the same number because when I stop, I know that the average is correct because they're all tens. So I hope this video helps you in um, improving your program, whether or not you were working on the one that we've written previously, the Java 6 one. But yeah, I do hope it helps you out. And then I'll see you in future videos. Thank you.